it's Paris, you know. The Eiffel Tower for me is Paris. I couldn't place the whole tower, huh? so I put a cloud. Because, you know, it happens sometimes in Paris that when the weather is cloudy, that you don't see the top of the Eiffel Tower. It, it happens currently. I think this was all about silhouettes. Huh? There is a little too much embellishment because it's quite easy. Huh? Uh, and couture has to have a perfect, flawless structure. I think what you saw, I'm 100% behind it. There is not one dress I, I'm ashamed of. Huh? Classic materials like satin and things like this, the same dress is made in that material would look old. Now they, they look modern because they move, especially the Japanese seal called Mikado for the black dresses and the white, the large one and the, and the wedding. It's, it's a divine material because it floats. It looks rich and heavy, and in fact, it's very light. Haute couture is haute couture. What's special about haute couture is the craftsmanship, the work, the time spent on it, the embroidery, the whole thing. It's another job than ready to wear. I like them both. But I don't want ready-to-wear to look like couture and couture to look like ready-to-wear. Real couture houses, there are not so many left. With an organization and so many workers like Chanel and so many workrooms, I don't think there are many. But there are lots of young people, very young. It's in between the people who are there for 30 years and the people who came from schools and learned there, boys and girls. It looked like a, a, a classroom when you walk into the atelier, you know. Other countries have cars and other things, and France has high fashion. And they had the best craftsmanship, huh?